Uh, Rick's going to come up and talk about, you know, I said earlier that this is a movement and about no man left behind. And, and we don't just want this to be a one-day conference. We want you to get the resources that are available and at Catholic Brothers uh, for Christ.com. That's Catholic Brothers for Christ.com. We have a whole resource section, and we also are starting something for you to help you go back into your parish and get a men's group going, whether it's two or three guys. Uh, we have Ralph, and we'll thank him in a minute, but has put together six, taking Father Larry Richards and Father Deacon Harold, and put together six weeks broken down their talks so that you could have group discussions with one, two, three people and grow that to, and grow that and grow that. <laughs> this is uh, for growth because we don't want to leave any, we will not leave anybody behind. Thank you, Bob. Uh, thanks for stealing my thunder. Um, <laughs> no. So the leadership group this last um, eight months, we We've read this book called No Man Left Behind. Anybody read this book? If you haven't, you need to. This is a great resource on how to get your men's group going in your in your parish or your community or whatever. It's got the steps to do that. Uh, basically, there's four types of men. There's men that need a relationship with Christ. There's probably some people in here today in that category. I was like that um, most of my adult life. Uh, there's unengaged Catholic men that are basically just kind of going through the motion. They're going to Mass every week, but they're really not doing anything else. They're spending one hour at the most with, with God. There's probably people in here in that category as well. I was one of those for most of my adult life. There's mature engaged in, in their parish. A lot of you guys in here are probably at that level where you're actually evangelizing to six to eight to ten other men. You go to a men's group every week. You might go to breakfast or, or whatever. That's great. That's what we need those kind of people because that's what that's what gets us to the next level, which is the fourth seed leader. And basically, what that is is someone who is uh, makes disciple of any willing man. Period. Not just in their parish. Not just not just in. Um, you know, your immediate community, but it could be at work, it could be uh, on an airplane, it could be whatever. Uh, we need leaders to expand outside your parish. And that's why we keep asking for uh, parish ambassadors, not only for their own parish, but just to help spread the word and get people involved in other parishes as well. Um, give the God given, God has given us the privilege to do this. Right? He calls everyone to do this. And so that's a privilege of spiritual leadership. This is our calling. This is everyone is called to do it. Not just a few of us, but all of us are called to do that. The main thing is this helps change the core of our heart. This changes our heart for, for the love of Jesus. That's that's what the, that's what this does. And the gospel can change our heart. The more we read and know about the gospel, the more our heart is changed and it makes us closer to God. So that's what this book's all about. It, 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 it says in here, you know, these conferences are great, and this is a great conference, but this is not the end of it. We need to do something besides that. So it recommends that you do six-week programs after the conference to keep following up with, with what you have heard today. Or, and with your parish community. So what Ralph has done, and we've, he's taken content from the last eight years of our conference. We've recorded everything that we do. Um, and he's broken them out into six week segments, like Bob said, with questions. So you can take this back to your parish. It'll be available on the website. You can take it, you can watch a video, you can have discussion. Um, we're gonna continue to do things like that to kind of spread this ministry to, to more than just the conference, right? We want to make this an ongoing ministry and get make people leaders, the fourth tier leaders that we're looking for. And by being here today, that's you're you're witnessing to that. So that's what we're we're looking to do. So with that, I just um, that's really what I wanted to say. We're going to have this book available on the website for you to order if you want. 
Uh, but if anybody wants one, give me a call. I'll, we'll send you the book. This is a, a critical book, uh, very easy to read. It's and it's made. It's you know it's made for average people like me that can read it and and implement. It, okay. Plus, it's Catholic. That's right. There's a there's a no left man behind book made by Protestants. This one is Catholic all the way. So it's it's the Catholic version.